Hi, I'm Roxy Lang. Welcome to Children's Church on Wednesday, August 12, 2020. And look, it quit raining. It's been raining all day long. So hopefully it will stop raining for a while so we can get Children's Church done. My mom had called me a, or texted me a little while ago and said, you probably won't be able to do Children's Church outside today. And I texted her back and I said, it can still quit raining. And so we just thank the Lord for stopping that rain and um, so we can get our children's church outside. It's just so nice to be outdoors in the summertime and just to enjoy this beautiful weather that the Lord gives us. And so we take every chance that we can get to um, enjoy this wonderful world, this wonderful weather that the Lord has given us. So today our story is about a Roman officer and he heard that Jesus was coming into town and he had a sick servant and he cared for his servant and he wanted Jesus to heal him for him. So that is our story, what our story is about today. So we will sing our prayers and sing our songs and get into our story. So thank you, Father God. We thank you for this beautiful weather. We thank you for the rain to make the grass green and the flowers and all the plants and the trees grow. And so we just thank you, Lord, for all that you give us each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. So the first song I'm going to sing is a prayer or a song of thanking the Lord and singing his praise. And the Lord loves it when we thank him, even for the little tiny things. And the little tiny thing was stopping the rain tonight so we could get our children's church outside. So that's what I am thanking the Lord for right now at this very moment. <clears throat> Thank the Lord and sing his praise. Tell everyone what he has done with shouts of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we'll just sing that song one more time because we are just thankful. And if you can think of anything that the Lord has done for you today, then thank him and sing praise to him. And any time during the day when, you, when the Lord has done something, just even little things, then remember to stop and thank him and praise him for what he does in our lives. So one more time, thank the Lord and sing his praise. Tell everyone what he has done with shouts of thanksgiving. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What has he done in your life today that you can thank and praise him for? The next song is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And who is the King, and, King of Kings and Lord of Lords in your life? Jesus is my King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And he can be your King of Kings and Lord of Lords if you invite him into your heart. So Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And you know what? He is the only King of Kings and Lord of Lords in the entire world. King of Kings and Lord of Lords, glory, hallelujah. King of Kings and Lord of Lords, glory, hallelujah. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, Hallelujah, Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, Hallelujah, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, glory, Hallelujah, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, glory, Hallelujah. And the last song is the Arky Arky song, and it's Noah and the Ark when he brought all the animals on the Ark when there was a flood. And I just thought that would be a good song today since we had all the rain and it rained and poured, uh, but not quite 40 days like Noah had it. And he had to get the people on the, uh, the, his family and the animals on the ark. And I usually just sing the last part of it, the rise and shine, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. And I sing that almost every morning when I get up, just rising and, sh and giving God the glory for each and every day. <clears throat> The Lord said to Noah, there's going to be a floody, floody. Lord said to Noah, there's going to be a floody, floody. Get those children out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord. Well, Noah, he built them, he built them, and Arky, Arky, Noah, he built them. He built them, and Arky, Arky built it out of hickory, barky, barky children of the Lord. It rained and poured for forty daisies, daisies, rain and poured for forty daisies, daisies, nearly drove those animals crazy, crazy children of the Lord. And there's more to this song. 
but I'm going to go straight to the part where it says, Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory, children of the Lord. So just another song. When it's raining out, you can sing that song to the Lord just to, again, say, Thank you, Lord. We rise and shine for what you do in our lives. <clears throat> So we will get into our story for today, and it is from the Jesus Bible for Kids, and the name of the story is The Man Who Amazed Jesus. And you know what amazes Jesus? It's when we have faith that when Jesus says that he could do something for us, like heal us, or anything, when we have faith in the Lord, then that makes the Lord happy. I'll try and get a little closer here so we can see the story. It's trying to get a little bit dark on us out here. So there's Jesus and probably some of his disciples that came with him. And there's a servant kneeling down. He has a, a knee on the floor and he's asking Jesus to please help heal his servant. The man who amazed Jesus. And one day Jesus was in Capernaum. And I like that name. That's the name of the town that Jesus was in and where this man was from. Can you say that name with me? Capernaum. And Jesus spent a lot of time in Capernaum uh, sharing uh, stories and uh, healing people. So that's uh, the town that we're talking about. And, and we talked about Capernaum the other night too. He spent a lot of his time in the small fishing town on the banks of the Sea of Galilee. This is where he had met Simon Peter and the others. And remember Simon Peter was fishing in the sea? And Jesus said, put your nets back out and you're going to catch more fish. And he caught lots of fish. And Jesus then told him to follow me, to be fishers of men. So this is where Jesus had met Simon Peter and the others and where Matthew used to collect taxes. In Capernaum, there lived a Roman officer. Romans didn't normally get along well with the Jews, but this officer was a good man who treated the Jews very well. He was also kind to the people who worked for him in his house. And that was why when he heard that Jesus was in Capernaum, he came to ask for his help, for one of his servants was very ill. Lord, the officer said to Jesus, my servant is very sick. He can't even get out of bed and he is suffering awfully. So this Roman soldier, he felt very bad for his servant and wanted him well again. I'm so fond of him, but I'm afraid he is close to death. Jesus asked him, shall I come and heal him? But the officer replied, Lord, I don't deserve to have you come to my own house. See, he respected Jesus an awful lot and he believed that Jesus could do anything. So he says, I'm not worthy of you. I'm not worthy of you coming to my house. But I know that you don't need to anyway. If you just say the word, I know that my servant will be healed. Just in the same way that when I order my soldiers to do something, they do it. The officer believed in Jesus so completely that he didn't even need him to visit the sick man himself. So that's how much faith this officer had in, in Jesus. He said, just by you speaking the word, I know that my, I know that my servant will be healed because I believe I have faith in you, Jesus. And that's the kind of faith that Jesus wants us to have in him. Jesus was amazed. He said to the people around him, I've never come across faith like this before. Then he turned back to the officer, the Roman officer, and he said to him, Go home now, and what you believe will be done for you. So since the Roman officer asked Jesus and he believed, Jesus says, if you believe, since you have so much faith and you believe, whatever you ask for will be done for you. And Jesus says that to us too. So the officer returned to his house, and sure enough, when he arrived back home, he found his servant up on his feet and feeling perfectly well again. And thank you for that. I bet that servant was so thankful 
that this Roman officer cared about him so much that, and that he believed in Jesus that he said, Jesus told him, I've never seen a, ma a faith so, so, so much as yours and your servant's going to be well just because you have so much faith. So Jesus loves it when we have faith in him. And the Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So the more of God's word we hear, the more faith and the more trust that we have in our Lord Jesus. Well, wasn't that a good story? I like that story because it teaches us that God loves our faith. He's amazed by our faith in him, by our trust and faith in him. Is there a certain part of that story that you really enjoyed? Did you like that story? What part of that story did that did, really touched your heart? Is there some part of that story that, that spoke to your heart and, and told you, this is something I want, want to remember and I can share it with somebody else. I liked it when he had the faith even to come to Jesus, when he heard that Jesus was coming to his town of Capernaum, that guess what, it just lit up in his heart and his mind and his heart said, you know what, Jesus can heal. Go to Jesus and he had enough faith and belief in the Jesus that he just went to him right away and he said, Jesus, heal my servant. So that's what strikes, that's what uh, touches my heart is he had so much faith that he just went to Jesus and he cared so much about his servant that he that he knew that when he go, went to Jesus that Jesus was going to heal him. So wasn't that, wasn't that uh, just wonderful of that servant to care so much? He had a caring heart and, and Jesus has a caring heart and Jesus loves us and he wants to comfort us and take care of us and that's the same kind of heart that Jesus wants us to have for other people. So that Roman officer, he had the heart of Jesus by caring so much for his servant that he wanted him well. So that was a good, that was a nice, uh, fun, good story to, to hear and listen to. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And you can sing those songs all over again. Uh, they put joy in our hearts when we sing to Jesus. And Jesus just loves it when we, we thank him and we praise him. And we tell them, you are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And rise and shine in the morning and sing, rise and shine and give God the glory. So thank you for listening and watching. And please share this with your neighbors and friends and family and, and everybody. Because uh, we know that Jesus needs to be heard around this world. And everybody needs to know the love of Jesus and the care of Jesus. And we can have that same kind of love and care in our hearts that Jesus wants us to have for other people. So thank you for watching. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I love you. And we'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow. So have a wonderful rest of the day.